Well, real estate was one pack which was fairly active yesterday on the downside because of that entire index session benefit going away. The street has taken time to digest that news and some of the brokerages has written on the same. Uh, they are anticipating not a major impact in the overall demand trend or uh, the overall uh, you know, cycle that the real estate pack is seeing. So Jeffries is saying low impact of the move on demand. And also if you go through CLSA's note, they say it can impact maybe geographies like NCR and Mumbai, which is higher investor activity. When people buy these properties as an investment rather than for residential purpose. But other areas like Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, which is end user driven markets, will be least impacted. So you can take your pick in terms of which are the players which are going to be uh, more impacted versus less. But specifically on Keystone as well, Investec has gone ahead and initiated coverage on that counter. The target price of 875 implies a 25% upside from the current level. They say it's best place to uh, ride the redevelopment wave, which is happening in Mumbai right now. They have proven their metal. They have had their successful associations. They have an asset life model. And all of that has uh, augured well for the company. And that means the growth can be at a faster clip. In fact, they are expecting that pre-sales growth will be at 25 to 30% CHR with the medium term. So just watching out for a bit of a recovery on Keystone Realtors today, as well as the overall pack. We do have the management actually of Keystone Realtors joining us later on the show. So maybe we can talk a bit more about this note as well with them. Hmm. Kunal, do you think the realty names would be pressured? Well, yeah, in fact, uh, over the last one month, they were already going through a drag. So I think DLF made a top, which is around 900 mark, 930 approximately, and the stock corrected by 15% or so. Godrej Properties was the only strong stock uh, you know, from the pack relatively, uh, and I think except for that, uh, Anantraj was the only one which was outperforming, but many of the other stocks had already gone through a corrective phase. So, And I think after yesterday's charts, many of these uh, you know, stocks which are holding up pretty well, they've also shown signs of a breakdown for themselves. So I would believe that uh, real estate as a sector over the near term could go into a drag.